Hi, this is Carl from West Town Laboratories. Uh, Flavio from Info Solutions asked me to take a couple of seconds or a minute or so and talk about what's a crossover do and uh, how is it, um, why do we use them in our products, uh, the multi driver products. So, first, let's kind of go back in time and talk about a traditional large home format speaker, okay? So, we have our regular old speaker box, and in the good old days, if you think way back to Grandpa's 57 Chevy or something like that, it had a speaker in the dash and the radio put all the frequencies through that one speaker in the dash so you have one speaker producing all the sound from the lowest frequency let's say 20 Hertz to the highest frequency let's say 20 K okay one speaker so somewhere along the line somebody thought you know what if I kind of take and divide this so that the speakers are giving better performance for a certain frequency range I might be able to get better sound quality. Okay, so speaker box for that might look like this. So we have two speakers, or normally what we call a low frequency driver and a tweeter. And again, we're talking 20 hertz to 20K. But what I might do is say, you know what, I want really powerful lows. So I take and I electronically split this speaker box. So for the sake of this conversation, I'm just going to say anything that is below 1,000 hertz is going to go in this direction, and anything that is above 1,000 hertz is going to go in that. Now, without drawing it to go on, if I had three speakers in here, I would divide this area from 20K down to 20 hertz into three ranges. At any rate, now let's talk about balanced armature products like the West Tone 3. Okay, West Tone 3 has three speakers in it. Now, they are balanced armature speakers. And just kind of like the speakers that I used in the previous example, size helps deliver low frequencies, okay? But at any rate, so we have these three speakers and what we're doing is we're taking the frequency range from 20K down to 20 Hertz and we're dividing it into three sections. So each speaker can be optimized for the range that it is functioning in. So let's say on the low frequency driver, this isn't the design, but let's say on the low frequency driver, I go 700 hertz here. I go 1.4 K here. And the top one, of course, is at 20 K. Okay, so now, this speaker is optimized to perform in this frequency range. Now, how do I do that? Okay, I use a thing that is called a crossover network. Been around for years, and it's kind of like an electronic version of a traffic cop. The traffic cop sees the cars coming straight at him, and he says, yes, you can go, while the cars over here are stopped. Okay, so what I'm doing with the crossover network is I'm creating a network that allows me to send the signal to each specific speaker. So I've got my positive and negative input which I need to get to each one of these. And what I do is, the negatives of course are going to be pretty easy, they just go right into the drivers. But with the positive side, what I'll do is I'll use a series of capacitors or resistors and I will control the amount of frequency range that goes to each of these. Now, depending on how complex you get with that series of resistors and capacitors, you can more finely tune what is exactly going to each one of these speaker components in our earpiece. Okay? I'm going to draw 20 hertz out to 20k. Okay? And you can, you know, I mean, the ideal thing in the world is to have a frequency response that's perfectly flat, okay? That's what, uh, at least that's in the measurement booth what everybody aspires to, okay? In the real world, if you, as soon as you put that speaker system in your living room or whatever, there's going to be some changes. But at any rate, so what we do to try and, and do that with a single speaker, we may have a performance that's, a little bit more like that because we're using a single speaker, okay? With a multiple speaker system, because this is divided into thirds, okay, 
We can optimize the low end speaker to, I better use a different color here, hopefully they're showing up. Um, we can optimize the low end speaker to kind of do this. The mid range speaker, since you know this is probably a more mid sound, to kind of do the same thing. Go across like that, and then finally optimize the high frequency driver to do that. That's what we're trying to do with the multiple drivers is to have these areas give you the flattest response possible for that particular speaker design. The angle that these slope away at has a lot to do with crossover design and that kind of stuff. But that's just a basic thing of what's a three-way speaker system doing? Well, it's carving up this range into three slots to optimize the speaker for it. Thanks.